Hi there everyone, this is Tina and this is your message of the day and this comes to you on the day of Wednesday, November the 6th, 2024. And as you look at this vision, you'll just want to probably just dive into this vision and just be there for some time. Drained out and tired and too many things on your mind and you're distracted and you're all over the place. It's just your feelings and the res- resurrection of all that does not serve you coming to the surface. Let it just rise moment to moment and just give in to it. But not be taken over by it and thinking that you're overwhelmed or that you're incapable or that you cannot handle this or this is something that was not meant to, to come to you. So just look into Archangel Haniel's eyes for a moment. She just wants you to, to sink in there and just feel that support, the unconditional love and support that the angelic realm brings. And remember that she will only come to you when you ask for it, when you give permission, when you try. So try. Let yourself feel the love. That's why it's saying honor your feelings. Do not give in and do not blame others or the environment or the situation or that you cannot do this or this day is just the same as others, all those kind of complaints that we usually bring forward. All lack of grace, but easily taken care of. But yes, they do need to be acknowledged. They are true. You're not making them up and you're not being overtly sensitive because see the huge full moon behind her. It's saying that the rhythm of your emotions is literally in a cacophony of light. (laughs) It's bouncing around with the light and the light bodies and the people around you and what you've given into and your karmic balances and all of that. You just don't get a moment to breathe, literally. And that is also what she's giving you then. A beautifully moving and loving lotus of light. Literally pouring in light and love, understanding and care, guidance and movement as you need it, when you need it, how many times you need it, the form of support you need. You don't have to be in some special clothing for this. You don't have to be in a special ritual for this because she's Archangel Haniel from the angelic realm right here wanting to help you as many times as you need it. So keep on asking and keep on believing and keep on trying. The landscape behind her, the sky, will then take on what does not serve you And change it back into the rhythm of the universe. Into the light, into love, into joy, into peace. Whatever form of essence you need, whatever form of guidance you've lost and not believe in yourself, the the desires and dreams that you've just given up on and said, my feelings are just, that's all I get is my feelings. I never get any movement. I never get any change. Ask for signs this day. As much as you want. Whatever form your emotion is asking you to pay attention to that is negative, that is making you move away from what you want to move towards, you could say, how do I understand that? All this is too complicated. For one moment, just sit down and relax. Even if you are in a working space, just for one moment, look out and look at the sunlight and become one with the sun. Have some water and look into her eyes because the flow of her hair is very much like the cosmic flow that is moving you forward now, changing how you react to your past, what you bring forward from your past. How many times we bring forward unnecessary baggage and blame and beliefs. You don't have to think about any of that. 
just as it comes up, it does not serve you in this moment. Does it give you any pleasure? Does it help anyone else? No, it does not. So let that flow then into this holy lotus. So beautifully just transforming. It's, the, it's literally the lotus of transformation and miracles. What do you want to change this day? What do you invite? What do you want to heal? Do you want to work towards a certain manifestation where you feel stuck or delayed? Do you want to communicate with someone? Maybe your own higher self. Start with your own higher self. In the, also in the immediate environment around you. If nothing, just look at, out the window. Look out the window and smile at someone. But at least you tried. And you've crossed your emotion of just saying that I'm just sitting there and getting victimized and getting tired and negative and getting no result. All of that is negative. You recognize that. Of course you do. You don't have to pick up any book for this. She will guide you through this. Archangel Haniel, help me with. Say this 20 times this day. How can I enjoy being my emotional self? How can I not defend my emotions and instead play with them and use my passions as my inspiration to go forward and to help others? No one is saying that you have to be selfish here. Selfish is just stuck by yourself, not enjoying anyone. Does that sound like a life you want to go into? No. Social, sociability, love, caring, enjoyment, sharing, learning, and of course today, trying and moving. And she never asks you to do that alone. She's right there with you and giving you the landscape of her beautiful wings to fly with and to ask for help with. The blue and white, graceful rays of the moonlight, the magic of the moonlight, all of the night, rhythms and knowledge and symbols, everything pours through. Just keep looking at those wings. If nothing else, if you get too tired and you just don't even want to try and look at the landscape or think of any symbol, look at this beautiful flower sitting right next to her ear giving you all the joy of sound. All forms of sound. Song, invocation, prayer, meditation, nature, birds chirping, children laughing, the holy waters slowly flowing through the rivers, whatever captures your attention, choose to hold it there and repeat it there. It's not going to go away. Something you enjoyed as a meditation or a Reiki journey online or just otherwise, take that. Again, you've grown. You're flowing. Because it's going right into her hair. It's all merging together. So look at the amount of support you have through all the realms of heaven coming together for you for a specific purpose if you want. A specific reason for signs that you want to see this very day and you want to apply this very day. Go ahead and do that. Because yes, desperation sometimes does that for you. You just you don't care about yesterday or tomorrow. Just in this moment, I just want to feel at peace right now. I just want to feel like I can walk. Look into her eyes and yes, she will give you the process, the movement, the feel, the change, the knowledge. What to do with it in that very moment. Like I don't care about receiving my guardian angel tomorrow. I want to know what I need to know right now. 
just to feel like me again. Of course, it will go straight also into that holy lotus that is just blossoming now. It's moving because you chose to to move with it. Permission, excitement, inspi- inspired, believing. Just believe. If nothing else, just believe. In that very moment, you've already changed something for yourself, for the environment around you. For your prayer, it's all answered and you will get signs. Ask for signs, perhaps immediately. And it will go also straight into her throat, giving you the chance and the power now to communicate and to ask. Because some people don't even work with angels and archangels thinking they have to have a specific form of language or have to be too written that they have to keep on writing certain specific words or they have to be trained in a certain manner and have to be very professional. No. Look at her eyes. Just give me your heart, dear child, and believe what is it that is so troublesome to you. What is it that you are seeing as a priority right now that is not leaving your attention, that is not leaving your space even, or giving you the time to function properly. Your body, your mind, your spirit, whatever it is. Surrender it into my face, literally. Merge with the face of the light and feel that. And just see the grace and grandeur of the light the love of heaven pouring through her face, becoming one with your own. Don't worry about which chakra point it is, how you're receiving this, whether you're doing it correctly, just receive. Because as you choose to do that, a portal of light within your third eye will open. And many who do not have the capacity to see, literally, who deny themselves actually the chance to see, will receive that as an open diamond door, a crystalline diamond door. Look at that for a moment. Just enjoy and revel in that. You'll feel so peaceful. I will not tell you how to feel, what it vibrates like, but it will just open. Just trust that it's opening. I am statements. You can definitely plant them in there. Guardian angel, bring him or her forward. You have other angels you want to connect with for a specific purpose, remember? Put them sitting there with you in this holy lotus this day. What is it? What purpose? What is it that you want to change? What is it that you want to transform? What is it that you want to heal? What is it that you want to cross? What is it that you want to stop repeating as a pattern? What is it that you want to learn and be inspired by or inspire others by? What is it that you want to know about your life purpose? Anything, everything. It's all heavenly. It's all for you. Again, I went quiet for a moment to allow you to receive into this holy lotus who just wants to hold you, literally. See how many times you can do this 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 day. You don't have to be in a specific meditative posture for this. Just feel it and receive it and enjoy it because it's going straight then back also into her throat, allowing you the chance to perhaps verbalize and speak out your prayers and ask for that which you held back on or procrastinated on or forgot about or desires that you were carrying around but you did just held them inside and the Holy Lotus will then clear What is between you and your prayer? What is it that you need to do between you and your environment, you and your heart, to come to a state of balance? Basically, here we are bringing you back to a state of balance. And that is why there's light also from that throat space going to the left and right side of her, giving you the application steps to go forward. 
using the power of the wings, realizing where it, where it is that you're carrying baggage that is unnecessary. That is why it's dual colored, violet flame and white. Clearing away again all that does not serve you so that you can move forward exactly being confident and happy the way you are. It's not denying anyone else anything or any relationship in your life. You're actually becoming more balanced, more aware, more conscious and softer, more available to everyone and every form of activity and expression that needs you, but easily, enjoying it. It's not supposed to be some tedious process here changing you for and pushing you just because there's some guideline that has to be, strict guideline that has to be followed. You're going, all of you are sitting there, that beautiful orb of fulfillment and peace and happiness right there in the center of a heart. That's why it's sitting there in a heart. Because you are just this grateful person, this grateful divine being, emphasizing and affirming repetitively, thanking Archangel Haniel for her presence, power, and guidelines, and love, and canopy of care in the way she brings it, unique to you. This is unique to you also. So don't think that you're taking away from someone else or repeating something of the past from your own life. You're starting afresh in every way. Thank you, Haniel, for supporting me. Look at the words. Look at each word if you want to. And emphasize that as your focal point. Thank you, Haniel, for supporting me as I honor my emotions. And if you see then the right side of her hair, the lotus is also leading into that wave of rays of silver this time and blue and white. So all the obligations you had, all the fears you carried about your future, all the reasons you thought you would fail or not receive, all being washed away. Delays, stagnancy, boredom. That's all boring, right? It's boring being negative all the time and complaining. So try praising instead. Just because, even if it doesn't exist, it feels ridiculous in the moment when you try it. But when you let go, how beautiful does your heart feel? It will start blossoming like this and it will feel like that and it will move forward like that. And she's holding it for you. She's saying, you don't have to do any of this, dear one, alone. You don't have to try. You don't have to speculate. None of this is being done just to make you feel foolish or for foolish reasons. You're not going to fall on your face. Nothing like that. It's to support your emotions and allow you to completely be open and receptive. Because see, space above her crown, it's absolutely open. There's a beautiful silver shining light on the left and right side of both of the sides of her crown. You decide what you do with it. That's why I'm not telling you what that means for you, what that pathway means for you. You're honoring your emotions, after all. So if you honor your emotions, you're going to receive what is highest and best for you, the situation concern or what you're asking about, or guidance you seek, or healing you require, or change you need, or transformation. All of that will be literally streamlined for you. This is streamlining going on here. And that's why it's so gracefully going into her wings too. 
helping you absorb and decide how to move forward then, step by step, moment to moment, word for word, person to person, conversation to conversation, thought to thought, image to image, whatever is that part of you that is sensitive right now and is making your emotions arise and creating negative patterns that are not useful for you. And then you can hold this lotus again and say, how do I transform it back to? To what? To whatever works for you. So keep on just repeating this affirmation. You will see miracles arise and differences within this very day. Change. And you'll excitedly share it with me. I would be happy to hear and be part of your journey. We're all going forward together. We're a happy family like that. So thank you, Haniel, for supporting me as I honor my emotions. And Haniel is, by name, the righteousness of God. So she helps you receive what is best for you. How can you go wrong? Just keep on calling upon her and trust this vision that you see and use it in your own unique fashion, not just what I tell you. I would love to learn from you. And this comes as angel prayers brought to you by Kyle Gray and Kyle can be reached at kylegray.co.uk and the flow and grace and beauty and magic that only the heavenly spaces can bring comes to the artwork of Lily Moses flowing towards you through the artwork of Lily Moses, who can be reached at L-I-L-Y-M-O-S-E-S dot com. So honor your feelings and enjoy your feelings. You're not supposed to have feelings to bother you. And sometimes we do think about that as human beings. That why do I have feelings? Sometimes I just want to just be a machine and not feel anything at all. Just the good. Ask for that. Ask for a balancing to bring your emotions back to where you enjoy them and don't think of them as as some burden or curse that's been given to you. And this is Tina, signing off for now. And we meet again tomorrow with further adventures that the Divine Ones have for us, going more and more towards where we do desire and hope to be. So bye for now.